Whenever you participate in a great ride, you may have to transport your bike. So I'm gonna take you through now how to get your bike into a bike box. Okay, let's start. Move the box out of the way. All right. So firstly, you wanna start with the pedals. Using a spanner, loosen off the pedals. Okay, once you get them loose enough, you'll be able to take them out by hand. Once I've got the pedals off, I now need to take off the saddle. This saddle has a quick release, which makes things a little bit easier. Your saddle may have a bolt. Now it's time to take the wheels off. But before you flip it upside down, you need to take off the quick release brakes. So just slotting in there, and pull that out, just like so, it just pops out. Sometimes it's a bit fiddly. Release those brakes, and round at the back, same thing, just pinch Pinch them in and then release, pop the cable out. Sometimes it's a bit fiddly, but you'll get, you'll get it like that. And that releases them off. Then we simply turn the bike upside down. Round like that. Just be careful. You may want to make sure that you take off all your accessories on your handlebars. Like that. These are quick release wheels, which makes my job a little bit simpler. Otherwise, if you have a bolt, you'll just need to have a spanner. I just release, loosen that off, and then take it out. Same again with the real tyre. This time, just be careful when I drop that out, that's gonna, the bike's gonna drop onto this. And just be careful not to get yourself covered in grease, and drop that down. Now, you may want some bubble wrap or some foam just to protect the various different parts of the bike. Let's get started. All right, and some tape. Firstly, I'm going to put some foam. Okay, I'm just going to wrap this around the derailleur just to protect it while it's in the box. I'm also going to put some bubble wrap around the cluster to protect that. I can just tuck that around. Just make sure that's all protected. There we go. I'm just going to put that aside there until I'm ready to put it into the box. You may also want to get your pedals together and any of your other bits and pieces that you want to put into the bike box, like your accessories, as well as your saddle, and you may want to just wrap them together. Now just wrapping my saddle, just to protect it, just around that bar there. I'm just going to put these aside until I'm ready to put them into the box. Just put them down there. Okay. Now I'm just going to move my bike out of the way and bring in my bike box. Okay. Okay, done. Now I'm just going to flip the bike box over. So, okay, so it can be a tight fit, but you just want to drop the bike carefully into the box like so, making sure you're not doing any damage. And now it's in. Now I just want to look at where a gap is so I can put my wheel in. So I'll put this one in first. Just be careful that you don't do any damage to the wheel as you drop it in. All right, now you're going to put the next, next wheel in. Okay, and... Okay, just make sure it fits in. It is nice and snug, that's all right. Done. Okay, all right. Don't forget the other bits and pieces. Find a nice spot for them, and they can just drop in. If you're worried that they're gonna bounce around, they're gonna be loose, you can tape them to the wall of the box. Tape them up against the wall of the box so that they don't bounce around and do damage to the bike or scratch the bike as they're in the box. Now I'm just going to Tape up the box. Okay, and making sure that's all nice and tight and it's not going anywhere. So for more information on bike transport, contact Bicycle Victoria. So there you have it. That's putting a bike into a bike box.